Hello, my friends. It's a December 2023 Dollar Tree shop with me. I'm at the Dollar Tree here, which I haven't been to in a very long time, other than to run in for a gift bag and run out just to see what they have. It's really the Dollar 25 tree. Now it's, you know, the Dollar Tree Plus where they have similar items like Five Below in my Dollar Tree. So I want to see see if they have any good finds in there. To be honest, I really stopped coming to the Dollar Tree after I did, you know, all the decluttering with the professional um, that I hired to help me declutter my home because I felt like I would just buy just random stuff that I really just didn't need from the Dollar Tree. Now that I've controlled my impulses and stuff, I really just need to buy what I need. Plus we have the kids holiday parties or winter break parties at their school and I'm going to a Christmas color party. So anything red, I'll probably purchase and try uh, to make up a cute little gift basket or something for this Christmas color party that I'm going to. Our color is red that we have, me and my girls. So I'm excited about that. But let's get into Dollar Tree and see what they have. All right, these are delicious. Try these. It's cute. Or these. See, stuff like this is adorable. But the problem is, like, what do you do with it after Christmas? You know, what is it really? What's the purpose of it? I used to buy cute little stuff like this for my girls, but there's really no purpose for it. I love the gift bags. I think these are a great buy. Even still at a dollar twenty-five, They're, all their gift bags are super high quality. Um, really nice for a dollar twenty-five. Much cheaper than going someplace else. Now I have this exact bow I bought from Walmart, but it's just a little bit bigger. But this would have done, and it was like, I think it was like $4.99 at Walmart. This one for $1.25. Even though the glitter kind of gets everywhere, it's super cute. And I think they're indoor, outdoor as well. They have all different kinds. That's a good find. Well, I only see one of these, but that would be perfect for my Christmas color party, right? Hmm. Oh, here we go this they also have these i was thinking for our christmas color party um me and the girls the husbands decided not to join us but for my friends and our kids we're going to do it so i was thinking we can get each have our own little bucket full of red items it's either this one or the sleigh what do you guys think leave a comment down below and let me know which should i choose the sleigh or the bucket or i could just do like a big tray like this right let's put that in the cart too has anybody tried the command hooks from Dollar Tree? Do they work? Well, might get some for Ava's closet. I wonder how much you can hang, oh, three pounds. Oh, here's some for five pounds. I'm gonna try one. We'll test it at home and see if it works well. These little plush dolls are so cute. They're cute. Cute little stocking stuffers. Press, press on and off. Oh, huh, it's supposed to play music, wow. Have any of you guys tried this? I want to say I saw a short about this. It's plant-based. Is it really plant-based though? I don't know. Leave a comment down below and let me know if you've tried this. I guess it just says with plant-derived ingredients. Does that mean all the, un the dangerous ingredients are out of it? I don't know. There's the ingredients list. I'm going to smell it because I'm curious. It's peppermint sage. It sounds, smells so Christmassy. See. It doesn't have a strong scent. I guess that's a good thing. You don't want too strong of a scent on your dishes because it's not hand soap, it's dish soap. Something else that I see that they have here, which is cool, they have those scented toilet bowl cleaners that you kind of hook on to the toilet. I don't know if they've always had these because um, I get those plug-on ones from uh, Clorox or Lysol and it smells good in your toilet um, and it cleans but this doesn't plug on in like the gel it like clips on the toilet seat but they have that in the lavender vanilla scent which is great you know sometimes you find like little gems here in the cleaning section at um, Dollar Tree like this for $1.25 um, especially if you don't use it, if you only have like one bathroom or you don't need the big tall ones for $1.25. Because I guarantee you it's more than $1.25 at Walmart. Look at this. Awesome. Oh, maybe it's just a different container. I'm so used to the awesome looking like this as opposed to this. I'm not going to lie. It's more appealing to me when it looks like this. I don't know why. It doesn't say the ingredients are different or anything like that. I guess it's just a different scent than this but you tell me which would you which would you prefer this one or this one they have a bunch of different scents of these too they have what is this fresh oh they're all fresh it says 
fresh on this one as well. And then this one says everyday use. So I'm confused. Oh, this is a wood cleaner. This is the shower cleaner. And the green is the kitchen cleaner. And the yellow is a bathroom cleaner. That is interesting. This is cute. Like a cute little stocking stuffer. I know my girls are in the stage where they like little mini bags. You know, the tween girls. Little stuff like this. Especially Ava. She loves little containers and stuff. Stuff for their desks. This. That's cute. Alright, let's go over to the Dollar Plus. Let's go over to the Dollar Plus and see if there's anything good over here. Okay, they have more like the, of the name brand stuff here in this section. Like, look, here's the Lysol. I still feel like this is a good find for $5 for both of these large ones. Let's see if you have more bathrooms to clean in your house. The Otoban brand. I do want to get some wipes for my car though. Cleaning wipes. Armor all. But that seems expensive to me. There's only 25 wipes and it's $5. Then you can get the spray for $3. Wow, they have Mrs. Myers here. They only have two cents, lemon verbena and lavender. Oh, and then they have honeysuckle. But it's $5. That's how much it is at Target. As a matter of fact, I think it's $4.99 Target. So it's not really a deal. Now, they do have this basket. This is a really nice size basket. Look at me, I'm pretty tall too. It's huge. $3 if you had, you know, some place for this. It's not very tall, but I feel like it's long and wide. Super cute. They have it in white and gray for $3. I don't think that's bad. Nice sturdy basket. And then also these little caddies for $5. You could use it as a cleaning caddy a shower caddy anything that's a good deal and i feel like these are nice look at how big they are okay this is actually really nice it's stackable i could see like five of these i think these would be helpful in my garage where you could just throw stuff in tempted right now but i need to measure the space because my dad is like making me a little mud bench like a mud room kind of cabinet and bench and this i would put right next to it we could throw our shoes in there hmm I'm thinking, I'm thinking, but I'd have to measure it first. Here are these measurements. This is 17.7 inches wide. Yeah, these are really nice for $5. I think that's a great price. They have some Christmas decor here. These are cute. How many days left for Christmas? This this one works. This doesn't. It just kind of swings around there. And nutcrackers and gnomes. Now, I saw these on, I think, a uh, short. And I just think these would be so cute for the Christmas color party. Right? I think they're adorable. Super cute. I love that it's BPA free. I wonder if it's all the phylates and stuff free. Not for hot liquid and not for microwave or dishwasher safe. Hand wash only. I just think these are so cute. I wonder what you could do with these. Like, like put them on some sort of stand or tray. I don't know. All right, this is where I feel like I have learned this year not to buy stuff like this because it's very cute and I would use it for our Christmas color party for sure. But then after, I just don't see myself putting this away with all my Christmas stuff and then bringing it back out. And it's just going to take up space, you know? This part screws off, of course, so you could pour, pour the drink in. So this is where I feel like I've grown. Old Gia would have absolutely bought this and then it would have just been taking up space in a random bin in my basement, you know? So. I'm doing good here. I'm doing really well. Now this is a good buy. 15 hangers for $5 because I think I bought a 50 hanger box from Costco years ago and I think it was like $19.99. I think they're like $29.99 now but if you don't use 50 and I especially have so many left over every time I declutter my closet that's how I know it's time to declutter my closet. I'm running out of hangers. Every time I declutter my closet I have so many left so to, to, to spend five dollars on 15 I feel like is a great buy and you just can buy what you need. Now I did not realize that Dollar Tree sold gift cards. Since when? And for all the brands here. Google Play, all the stores. I've heard a lot of people having issues with gift cards this year though. Leave a comment down below if that's you, especially like Visa ones where they just don't work or the money's just not on them even when you register them. All right, now I should buy, I feel like I should buy some red candy. <sighs> it's gonna tempt me to eat it for our Christmas baskets. I love these little popcorn containers. 
I have a big one, but the big one just takes up too much space in my cabinet. But these are perfect. It's the perfect amount too. And we only have two, so I'm gonna get two more so that all four of us will have some. And then sometimes all my my friends, my uh, girls have friends over. They, you know, need one too, so. And we're a popcorn family, we love popcorn. I, I, I pop it myself, we have a popcorn popper machine. And it is so good. Y'all, I did not know my Dollar Tree sold butter snaps. My girls love butter snaps so much. And they are so expensive at Kroger. I had no idea that they sold them here. I had no idea. So I'm definitely gonna get these because I saw a little, it's called like Christmas pretzel crack that you can make. It looked really good. I think I saw it on TikTok and I'm gonna try it, see how it turns out. I saw another pretzel Christmas crack, cut like crackle. I say crack, like, you know what I meant? Like it's like um, a bark. It's like a Christmas bark and like it has caramel in it. It's so good with these pretzel crisps, the plain ones. I mean, this wouldn't be enough. You know what? I think I'm gonna buy a small bag because these are really expensive. The big bag are, bags are $9.99 at uh, Costco. Well, they were, they're probably $11.99 now. My girls don't really eat them, but I'm gonna get a small bag so that we can try that recipe. The Christmas bark recipe because uh, I just want to try them out before we go to the Christmas color party next week and I'll probably come back next week to get all the candy and stuff and leave a comment down below and let me let me know if you want to see you know the final product of what we made for the Christmas color party also if you want to know what we wore I, I can vlog the party leave a comment down below if you're interested in that because I always see them on like TikTok and stuff the, the color parties so I'm always interested to see what people Take. so leave a comment down below and let me know if you want me to film that but I am going to try these little Christmas snacks to see how my family likes them now Dollar Tree has always had some nice glassware but they have really stepped up their game it's been a while since I looked this these are really pretty I love them I love that it's indented here like right where you pick it up super cute yeah these are really cute and it's like heavy nice quality oh wow do they not sell the Reynolds wrap sheets anymore oh man that was such a great buy it's like flat it's by reynolds wrap and it's like perforated sheets like it was like the perfect square it was perfect for my air fryer i don't see them anymore leave a comment down below if you know what i'm oh wait foil sheets there they are they don't have the reynolds wrap brand though anymore or maybe they're sold out at this dollar tree leave a comment down below and let me know if you have them at your dollar tree oh look at these this would be something great to like bake and you can just throw it away when you're done maybe i'll use this for the christmas those pretzel snacks that i want to make i don't need one that big though well maybe i could put them all on one tray i'm gonna get one and test it out i am going to give this a try and see if it works as well as the Reynolds wrap brand. I just really like that brand. And then I want to see, oh, they do have parchment paper. I wish they had the perforated sheets and the parchment paper. That would be great. Wow, look at these. This is really nice quality. Huh. Use these for your drawer organizers, for your kitchen. That's, they only have this size and this, and then they have these stackable drawers. And they also have this with the lid it's nice i've never seen these here before i feel like tissues are always a good buy here for a dollar 25 i get them for my girls um, okay, okay. The, their bedrooms the there's a little shrinkflation for you this used to be a six pack i remember they used to sell six packs of these little um disposable kleenex to go they used to get like barbie themed or like trolls i remember getting them for my girls and now it's only a three pack i'm gonna go over there and look in the health section aisle not health but like the beauty aisle to see if maybe they're over there because this is nice i wonder how many you get 10 tissues um in each little pack okay well in this brand you get eight in that little pack i wonder if they're hard i hate wiping my nose with i know that sounds so like bougie but if you wipe if you really need to wipe your nose and the tissue's hard it like really can scratch your skin up underneath your nose and that's very painful so um i'm gonna try these though and see I like to just keep them in my purse when you need them. I saw another little Christmas craft. You can make um, hot cocoa cups out of these. You make use these as a mold and then you put chocolate all around it. 
Okay, I'm going to put them in there because I did get those little spoons to try. So we're going to try all this stuff today, girl, and see how it goes. Now, my friend Christine from Frugal Get Fit Mom said that if you don't buy this meat masher from the Dollar Tree, you're missing the best deal. Now, I have avoided buying this since I decluttered my kitchen because I was like, Jaya, you decluttered your kitchen. You don't need another kitchen gadget. But every time I make ground beef, I always say to myself, this would be so much easier if I had one of those things. So today, Christine, my friend, I'm gonna go ahead and add her to my utensils drawer in the kitchen. I do always buy these cotton rounds. I'm actually all out from here. They last me quite a while too. You get 80 of them in one. These are pretty expensive at Walmart, even for the Equate brand. Look at this chamomile Epsom salts with green tree extracts. I do put magnesium flakes in my baths and my baths for the girls. And sometimes I do add Epsom salt. But um, yeah, this is, I love that it has the chamomile in it. Maybe I'll give it a try and see. Okay, I was right. They still do have them good. Good for you, Dollar Tree. They have Barbie and then the Barbie. Oh, it comes with 10 napkins in each for Barbie. And then this pack, is, which is the same pack that was over there, you get nine napkins in each. I just wonder if they're crappy though. I've, I've gotten the Barbie or this kind of pack with the characters on it before. And the, na the, the napkins are not hard or abrasive on your skin. I know that sounds so crazy, but if you know, you know. I don't see the Guru Nanda. They used to sell Guru Nanda essential oils here. I don't see them, unfortunately. I feel like that was such a good find. But they've gotten so pop, so popular now on um, TikTok. So maybe they just sell on TikTok shop. I know I can still find it at my Walmart, the oil pulling for your mouth health. If you don't know who I'm talking about, get on TikTok and search for Guru Nanda. It will totally change the way you feel about oral health care. I mean, and, and I've been using it now for a year and it's, it's really helped me quite a bit. But leave a comment down below if you want me to elaborate. I can make like a short or something about it. But yeah, they don't see it here. That's unfortunate. These little deodorants are cute. This one smells really good. I only have one left. And I was said, I told the girls I was gonna give them a little travel deodorant to put in their bags um, to have. And I need to get like one for my car, but I don't know. We usually use natural deodorant, but I guess this is good to just keep in the car. We wouldn't use it that often. Hmm, they have Epsom salt, but soak. How is that? How is that? Oh, it's crystals. Okay. Hmm. Totally did not come in for all this. <laughs> Okay, girls, so let me show you what I got for the our Christmas party. Look, do you, do you think that this would be... So you each can get your own tub, and then I bought tissue paper to put inside, and then you guys can decide what you want to put in each thing. And then I've also bought this red tray for myself. What do you think? I like it. You do? Mm -hmm. Okay, good. And then I bought a few red things because there's some crafts that I want us to try to do with some of the things that I got. So we'll see how it goes. Okay. All right, y'all, so let me show you what else I got. Like I said, I got the little packs of tissues for the girls, and then I bought them each their own box of tissues for their rooms. I bought the parchment paper. I'm gonna try these foil sheets. I'm gonna try this meat masher, girl. I feel like it's gonna change my life every time I make tacos or ground beef, but I bought that. Then I bought these pretzel crisps for, you know, that pretzel crack I was gonna try, and then also the butter snaps as well and then i got these spoons for the hot cocoa cups and i bought this hook to try in ava's room and then i got some cotton rounds these little cups for the hot cocoa cups some drizzled popcorn i think ava would like this as a nice um snack i got the i want to try the epsom salt with chamomile and then this hair spritzer it's i think would be nice to sp like spray on our braids it smells really good and I love the fact that it has no parabens, phy phylates, dyes, alcohol, silicones, or sulfates. So it's pretty natural. So, oh, and then also the stuff for the color party, this tray, these two bins that the girls are gonna have. And then I also bought these to possibly put in the bins as well. And then I also bought a uh, tissue paper, bought this so that we could stuff red tissue paper in these little tubs. And then I'll just put what I'm gonna bring on this tray. Yeah, so that is everything. Okay, Ava, go ahead, try the drizzled popcorn. It has black and white sugar cookie. That's the theme, the flavor, black and white sugar cookie. Let's try one. Oh, you got one. Let me try one too. Ready? Cheers. 
Cheers. <laughs> oh my gosh. It's like hard because it has like sugar on top of it. What do you think? Oh, no. The one you got was burnt? Get another one. All right, this one has chocolate on it, so let's see. Mm, it's kind of light. It's not a great, amazing, but what do you think, Ava? Yay, nay, maybe. I don't, I don't know if I like it. It has like a weird aftertaste for me. You like it? Oh, okay. Uh, again, it tastes like hot cocoa a little bit. Mm. Hot cocoa. Isn't that warm hot cocoa? Yeah, I don't smell, I don't taste hot cocoa at all, but sure. Then we're gonna replace this hook with this hook. I think Ava, is our, Ava just was putting too heavy of coats on here. Oh, did that rip something? No. Okay, let's change it. All right, I took the backing off. Let's put it back on here. I'll hold it. <clears throat> 30 seconds. Off the bat, I like that the hook is a lot bigger. Even though her closet's a mess, she can now hook, fit more things on the hook. But it does have a five pound weight limit, but that should be good. Yeah, I'm happy with it. Okay, we're lining the pretzels up from Yum. Dollar Tree. A stick of butter and a cup of sugar. I might need to add more butter. I don't know, I'm just gonna keep cooking this until it melts all together almost done y'all because this is a consistency we need it to be okay good job honey let's move this out of the way be careful watch this is very hot next to you okay guys i'm filming oh, gosh i think this is enough i don't know ava we organized the pretzels and make it i don't think it's enough <laughs> we're gonna have to make it work <laughs> i'm not making any more guys we're not making any more of this because it took a long time well it didn't take a long time it's just it took um, a while and um we don't have that type of time <laughs> to do well, it no again. it didn't take a long time but it's just i don't know we got don't, things we don't know if we're gonna like it we got we're, things to do okay we, i don't know if i'm we're gonna like it what if we just make all this and then nobody likes it i don't i don't know the kids won't like it. Probably the adults will. Yeah. It actually kind of looks good, guys. Take a good look at that. Okay, I guess it is enough. All right, 375 for five minutes, I think she said. That's how it looks. I don't know, y'all. I really don't. Okay, so the next project we're doing with these Dollar Tree cups, she cut the slit on the side because we're making hot cocoa cups. Any side, guys. Any yep, side. you just cut a slit like yeah. this up the slide side, and now she's going to put tape, tape on it. Oh, it looks so good. Okay, I'm gonna add some salt on one side and then some chocolate chips on the other. All right, we already added salt. Watch, because it's really hot right there, okay? All right, so we're gonna add some chocolate. Oh, that looks chips, good. these are so tiny. What kind of chocolate chips? Oh, these are morsels. I meant to get chocolate chips. These are morsels. All right, we cut the cups, we taped the cups, and now we're going to... Oh, make sure you tape it long ways. Right, so it covers the whole... So it covers up. Did we cut tape this one? Oh no, that's not cut right there. It's cut right here. So yeah, taped it long ways. Now we're gonna pour the chocolate, a thin layer of chocolate around the whole cup, twice. All right, so this is the cup that I did. There's a little white spot right there, but we want all the white spots away. And make sure it's not too thick. You want it to be kind of thin. Then let it cool and then do it again and then put it in the freezer. And now Eva's gonna try. Okay, Eva's gonna try, pour it over. Yeah, there you go. Mm-hmm. Good job, honey. Okay, that's good. Now make, now move it all around till it covers everything. I know it's hot, so if it's too hot, you can hand it to me. I'm gonna put these in my crumb-filled freezer for five minutes, and then we're gonna check them in again. Okay, this is hardening, and then we use the leftover chocolate from the cups to like kind of drizzle all over it. You can add sprinkles. I don't have any Christmas sprinkles, but you can add sprinkles, powdered sugar, but I'm just gonna leave it like this and let it cool completely and then we'll taste it. Okay, so these have, these have been in the freezer for five minutes and now we're going to do it all again and put them back in the freezer, freezer to harden completely. Okay, now that the cups have two layers, in the freezer they go. All right, baby, you ready to try? Cheers. Mmm. Mmm. Wow. That's a nice little treat, y'all.
This so fun to do with the kids, kids for sure. Okay, these have been in the freezer for another 10 minutes. Ava's gonna try to, I'm gonna try this one because you can pull the tape off. Take the, rip the cup off. No, oh, oh, okay, hold on. You see how you just melted, the, it's not quite done. Yeah, I think we should let it stay. Well, let's see. One hour later. All right, so these are, have been in the freezer. For one hour. <laughs> More than an hour now, right? And like, <laughs> so we're gonna rip the cups off. Epic fail. Oh my gosh, y'all, this was a fail. They, it was so hard to get off the cups off. Then they start melting so quickly. Well, not melting, but becoming room temperature, and you cannot. I like, think we should have done it in the freezer. <laughs> get like, the get cups it. off. You're supposed to be able to rip, rip the cups off. Let me show you guys what it's supposed to look like. This is what they're supposed to look like. She made it look so easy. Um, hold on, let me see. Yeah, like this. And that's why I got the spoons from Dollar Tree, which is right here to put inside the cups. But this is how our cups turned out. So, and I followed her directions. This is cooking with, with Jay on Instagram. I followed her directions and my cups, maybe it's because these cups are from the Dollar Tree. She used mini Dixie cups. Don't know what we did wrong, but Ours were, was an epic fail. So what we'll do is we'll just, Ava, you know what? We could put these back in the freezer and we could still put hot cocoa in the center. And then when you're ready for hot cocoa, we'll just dip it. And then you can use the spoon to drink your hot cocoa. In. <laughs> so that project was a fail. These are super cute though. And if you've ever tried it and you got it to work, leave a comment down below and let me know what we did wrong.